Well, Josh Knight is taking us on a tour around the Tri-State looking at some things that are manufactured right here. And today he's introducing us to Abra Power with his latest Made in Cincinnati. A product used in nail salons across the country every day is made in this plant in Florence. It comes in in the stack like this, but leaves as one of these. And it's only made in Cincinnati. The VP of Abra Power describes it as a pretty simple process. But they've been fine-tuning it for more than a decade to make nail buffers and sanding sponges. We take a little over a truckload to two truckloads a week of foam, and that's produced and shipped out every week. The foam arrives in sheets, so it's first cut down into thin strips. Then it's coated with adhesive. The grit is quickly applied, and it's off to the oven. While it's not that warm, the circulating air cures the product, and then it's flipped over to apply the same process on the other side. Finally, a top coat is put on to hold all the grit in place. For their flatter products, the same process happens, except it's done to the entire sheet all at once. Then they're cut up afterward. If you look closely, you can see it go through the curtain of top coat. Afterward, it's over to packaging. Some are cut down to size one more time and then hand packed and shipped all over the world. We do about 50 million nail files in a year. We can get around the world one and a half times with nail files alone. Going to any nail salon in America, they're using products made in Florence. We are the only manufacturer of cosmetic nail buffers here in the U.S. and in Europe. And you would never know it. It's one of the most common things people say to us is, wow, that's all back there. We didn't think that was there when they look at the building. In Florence, Josh Knight, Local 12 News. I could use a few. Pretty pathetic. <laughs> well, Abra Power has about 25 employees <laughs> over the course of 2016. They plan to expand to about 40. <laughs> I got the close-up. It looks okay to me.